Listen, you can't listen if you're yelling. Lisa Niles hasn't done anything, okay? At least not officially. And you know, maybe the, the police report she filed with me wasn't really necessary, but it wasn't bogus. I mean, Robin did threaten to kill her in front of witnesses. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you what you always tell me. Just go by the book and follow the rules. If we give Lisa enough time, she'll make a mistake. You know, I'm sick of the rules too, we all are. Somebody's at my door, I'll call you later. I have a job for you. This ought to be good. I want you to take a little trip. I'm going to pay all the expenses, and I'm going to give you 10 grand to start and plenty more to follow. In return for what? I want you to find your father and bring him home, and I do not want you to let Luke know that I put you up to it. You want me to track down Dad, huh? If anybody can find your father, you can. Besides, he'll be thrilled to see you. He'll take you off on an adventure. That's fine. Just bring him home when you're done, okay? Does this mean that you're ready to take him back? No. <laughs> What's the point? I, I need somebody to be mad at. I need somebody to outsmart. I want to worry if my martini's been poisoned. Look, I don't expect you to understand. Suffice to say, my family is ready to ship me off to Shady Brook with, with Alice leading the pack. Oh, so you want me to do this for Alice, I see. You want 75000 Is that enough? I, there's plenty. Just, you name your price. Now, Tracy, I can't just walk away from my job. <laughs> Spencers don't hold jobs. They have inconveniences that bring in a little money. <sighs> Still, I can't just vanish. Do you want to spend your entire career goading your father? Have you not made your point? Lucky, Luke has been gone way too long. Somebody should have heard from him by now. Yeah, he stole 10 million of your dollars when you found out your marriage was a fraud. Maybe he's afraid that you're going to press charges. You ever think of that? I don't want to prosecute him. I just want to see him. And clearly, you need a reason to leave town. What gives you that impression? <laughs> what? Lucky, I have been observing Spencer's for a long, long time, and you, my friend, have the look. It's the look your father gets when he's dreaming up a scam, Ethan gets it when he's fleecing customers, even Lulu gets it sometimes. You're amazing. Look, you're gonna leave town one way or another, so why don't you make a little money while you're at it? You wanna raise a little hell on my dime? Yes, it's, it's great to hear your voice as well. Yeah, you were, uh, you were always my father's favorite fence in Amsterdam. Oh, sorry, antiques importer. My mistake. So, listen, I'm wondering about uh, uh, the gold statues that were stolen from the tomb of Eurydice. Did you, did you hear about the robbery? Yeah. No, I know, it was pretty outrageous. Five of them were stolen. Three were recovered, packed in crates of red herring. Sounds a lot like my dad, so I'm thinking that he might be headed your way. Not that you would ever be involved in a transaction like that, but if, if you do happen to see him, could you tell him that Lucky is on his way to Amsterdam? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you as well. Thanks. Lucky Spencer? Yes. Inter Interpol? Wow, that was fast. Would you be so kind as to come with me, please? This is about the herring, isn't it? Please. Whatever my father has done, I'm sure he had no intention of violating international law. I mean, and, and as for any contraband that may have been found in his vicinity, he, he didn't know anything about it. If antiquities are involved, I'm sure he just thought they were forgeries. You know, doing someone a favor, he's a sucker for a sob story. That innocent guy gets caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, your father seems quite fond of herring. Then you know about it. Paul knows a great deal about Luke Spencer, but innocent is not a word I would choose to describe him. 
Do I need to call a lawyer? Mr. Spencer, I appreciate your concern for your father, but right now, Interpol is much more interested in you. 